how do you remain calm and collected when you step away from the hot topic table? Oh, I don't take this stuff home with me. You don't? Uh, no. Not backstage, not home? I really don't. I, I, uh, if I did, I'd go crazy. I think uh, you can't hold on to these things past the table. I don't take things personally. Listen, I have a, I also have a five pound poodle. I have an emotional support uh, dog who I support the entire day. Um, you know, we all have lives outside of this. Uh, some of us have children, some of us have husbands, have uh, families, households. I mean, so many different responsibilities. You, this, this can't be what you're holding on to the entire day. Excuse me, maybe I was clumsy in the way that I said <laughs> I, you know, it. I'm, I'm, I'm just feet away. I don't need you to scream at me this way. So how will you maintain a level-headedness, stay calm, collected as we progress into this election year? Medication. I almost should recuse myself from this conversation because I am such an addict, <laughs> as you know, Whoopi. That's true. But I would say, and I don't care when people use their phones at dinner. It's really hard. I, I'm actually, it's much easier to be grounded at the table really? than it, yeah, because my nature is to be collaborative and listen and talk. And I was from a big family and that's just what we did. It's harder when you get me at the end of a day, I'm watching a debate or doing something else and all of a sudden, I'm like screaming at the TV. I don't even do that in athletic things. Things I'm really interested in, like a basketball game or a tennis ball. I'm I was getting really fired up this summer. My husband's like, you need to chill out. Yeah. The adults <laughs> yes, who are the, the issue. Problem. Yeah, we're it's the, the adults who are the problem. Well, honestly, we have to keep our heads clear. I work out every day. That's like my one thing to just keep mental clarity and kind of keep focus. And also, like, know when to unplug. This is a job that's so demanding. You got to follow so many things that are happening. But at the end of the night, like, save a little bit of time for just me and my husband, my puppy, and that's like clearing my head. We have seen things get a little heated this summer between you and Alyssa. But what scares me, Alyssa, is that you are incapable of defending a man that you worked for, that you I know am not, of, oh, no, and you're no. saying Why that you, you, ask me a question you're saying that you than, need to hear. I did ask you a question. She oh, did, I a and, I and, you, and you said that you needed to hear more from him, and I don't need to hear more from Pence for several reasons, because when I live well, in Well, you just accused me of something, so why don't you let me actually answer? You're not gonna no, vote for a Republican no, ever. No, so how are you able to keep things at the table after wow. you said your piece and step away? It's funny, I don't feel that way. <laughs> no? But no. From the viewer's point of view, it's like, yeah, whoa. Yeah, no, and see, and that's the thing. It's like, yeah. right. I think when you're on the outside looking in, yeah. it may look heated, but it really isn't. It's just people that are passionate about a topic. And so you're gonna say, well, no, I don't agree with that. Where'd you get that from? But it doesn't mean that it's personal. And I think that's the uh, the thing that I've learned the most from Joy and from Whoopi, that you leave everything at the table because you're gonna go to work the next day. Have a great day, everyone. And Sarah, what should they do? They should take a little time to enjoy the view.